Let's find these compositions. So we've got f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 and g of x is equal to x squared minus 7. Okay, first thing we want to find is the composition of f and g, which is f of g. So we're going to take our f of x, which is x squared plus 3, and everywhere we have an x, we'll put in parentheses. So I got parentheses squared plus 3. Everything else remains exactly the same. This is evaluating a function, so whatever's inside of parentheses right here, which is g, is what I'm going to put in right here. But g was x squared minus 7, so I'll put in x squared minus 7. Well, x squared minus 7 squared, we have to take x squared minus 7 times x squared minus 7. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 7 is negative 7x squared. Negative 7 times x squared is negative 7x squared. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49 plus 3, which gives us x to the fourth minus 14x squared plus 52. Okay. Part B. We want to find a composition of G and F, which is G of F. So I'm going to take my G of X, which is X squared minus 7, and everywhere I have an X, I'll put in a set of parentheses. So i got parentheses squared minus 7. Now whatever's inside of parentheses right here, which is F, is what we're going to put in right here. But f was x squared plus 3. Now we have to write that out as x squared plus 3 times x squared plus 3. You can't just square the x squared and square the 3 because of the plus in there. If everything's multiplication inside your parentheses, you can do that. Well, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 3 is 3x three squared. 3 times x squared is 3x three squared. 3 times 3 is 9. I'm bringing down to minus 7, which gives us x to the 4th plus 6x squared. 9 minus 7 gives us 2. Now C. We want to find the composition of f and g and then evaluate x for 3. So this is a continuation of part A. We're going to take x to the 4th minus 14x squared plus 52 and plug 3 in for x. So we've got 3 to the 4th minus 14 times 3 squared plus 52 um, gives us 81 minus 14 times 9 plus 52. 81 plus 52 is uh, 133 minus, uh, let's see, 36, 3, 9, 126 is a 7. Assuming I didn't make any kind of basic math error, which is always kind of questionable. Everything looks right. Those are answers.